Hello there YouTube, I just thought I'd create a quick tutorial on how to use CogSwap from FreeMacBoot. So you can use any import disk on basically any PlayStation 2 without having to find swap magic or use a chip. So what you're going to need is a FreeMacBoot memory card. In my case, I got this one. You're going to need a way to launch the CogSwap ELF. I did it just by um, installing it from a USB drive, but you can probably find that on most uh, free MacBook tutorials, how you're supposed to set up new apps. So you need to be able to launch the CogSwap app from the free MacBook. Once you've done that, you're going to need to, if you've got a slim PS2, block off the sensors so that it never detects you opening the tray. If you've got a fat PS2, you're going to need to be able to use a slide tool to open the drive without it detecting you've opened the drive. I'm not going to explain how to do those. They're on other places on YouTube. The method I have used for my Slim is using a piece of straw to hold down one uh, sensor at the back of the lid and using a bit of tissue to hold down the front sensor. It's really easy. That's why I, I've got a Slim at all. Um, other than that, you're going to need a disc, an official disc that works on your PlayStation 2 with a table of contents, TOC size, and I'll put a link down in the description, as large as you can get it, because it's got to be larger than the import game you're playing. Right, here's what I'm using. This is Metal Gear Solid Subsistence. It's the PAL version. Uh, table of contents size on this is one of the largest in the power region so I'm using that as my boot disk because like I said it, it's got to be larger than the game we are playing in this case this is called Love Con Lovely Complex it's a Japanese visual novel naturally because it's Japanese it shouldn't normally play on my unmodded uh, slim PS2 but we're going to get it launched with CogSwap here is my slim PS2. As you can see, I've got a piece of straw holding down the lid sensor. It actually goes down the back uh, through the uh, hinge. And then I've got a piece of tissue stuck down in this sensor just to hold it down. So this will not detect me opening the disk drive even when it's running. Uh, there is a disc brake here that you can tape open if you don't want it to touch the disc while the thing is running, but Cogslop, CogSwap will stop the disc from spinning before you take it out, so that should be fine. Let's first show you what happens if you try using an import disc with an unmodded PS2. There's no mod chips or anything in it, so if I put this import disc in, detected, we're booting into free McBoot. Now it should go straight to browser because it always does, that's how free McBoot works. But the disk is not usable because it is an import. So let's turn this off. Now while while it is off I'm gonna put in large table of contents disc, in this case Metal, of Gold, Metal Gear Solid Subsistence. Yeah. Turn it on. Again, boots to pre boot. And again, because it's got a disc in, with Freeman, but it will go straight to the browser. But that's okay. At least it recognizes that this is a disk and it has already passed the table of contents check. So now we go down to CogSwap. I've got the Swap Magic Elf on here, but technically that's piracy, so let's talk about CogSwap, the legit way of doing it. Right, when you load it, in this case it's showing a yellow icon which means that it's detected a DVD although it hasn't initialized that yet. If you press X on the controller it will spin up the DVD briefly 
in order to use its table of contents for whatever reasons and then validate and go purple. Now, without triggering any of the uh, lid switches, but luckily because the disc has already stopped spinning, we can take the disc out and put it away and then get out our Japanese game. And close the lid. You don't actually need to close the lid uh, because the sensors are still blocked but I prefer to do it because I haven't blocked the disc brake sensor so the disc will stop while the lid is open. Uh, now we press X to start the disc. Hopefully you can hear the disc spinning and the driver's reading and now it's showing Japanese because the game has started. This is basically saying can't find a save start anyway and yeah we'll start anyway in this case I'm using circle because Japanese PS2s use circle for confirm and that's it it can't natively read Japanese games but now it is and that's how you use CogSwap it's not very difficult and it's significantly cheaper than a Swap Magic disc and it's legal, unlike the copyright infringement of using the Swap Magic Elf. So, you know, that's what I use. Um, leave a like if the, you found this useful, and share the link with anyone else you who might need to know how to play legit imports on an unmodded PS2. Thanks for watching.